All right, Sally Steele from VegasRocksTV.com. We're here with the legendary Meatloaf. He's Where? got <laughs> I don't know. He's around here somewhere. I, and I, the, 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 when people say superstar, legend, or any of that, I'm, I'm not crazy over that. In fact, I made that they had superstar in the advertising. I made him take it out because I don't what? like. I don't. I, I'm. I don't like that. I'm, I'm just like I'm a plumber. Okay, the average Joe guy, That's meatloaf. Exactly right. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, which brings me to my, my first question: Like, how did you get the name meatloaf? I can't believe that's your first question. I don't believe you. But I'll ask. I'll ask another one. But no, that's okay. My father gave me the name Meat before I was a year old, and in the eighth grade, I stepped on a coach's foot, and he screamed, uh, "Scream! Get off my foot, you hunk of meatloaf!" And in eighth grade, all the kids thought it was really funny, so the next day it was taped on my locker. And from then on, I've been called Meatloaf. You were bullied as a kid, it sounds like. No, I, I used to could fight six or seven people at a time and beat the hell out of them. Oh, you were the bully. Yeah, well, I wasn't until they bullied me, and then I struck back. Okay. Well, great. Well, it sounds like it's going to be... I was bigger than they were. That always helps. Yeah. Well, it sounds exciting. We're glad to have you uh, have your residency here in uh, Las Vegas. Tell me what it's about and what we can look forward to. I'm not going to do that because I can't because the, there's so many elements to this show that will surprise people that I'm not going to give it away. And the fact is the show won't be the same every night. Okay. It's because... It depends on what people in the audience ask. And I have uh, video and stills. I can answer 50 questions okay. with different pictures. And we, can't, we can only do seven questions a night. So I know what one of them will always be. But we'll deal with that when that comes. But um, you, you How'd know. you get the name Meatloaf? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one well, of them. We've got that one. We got, well, no, it, I don't even let them ask me that. I just start with that one. So it's a more intimate thing, but what I wanted to know is like, is your full band going to be there rocking out? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. When we rock, we rock. Okay. But there's a whole element of, of uh, that most people would not expect in a rock and roll show. Mm -hmm. A whole element. Okay. Uh, the first 11 minutes you think you're sitting in a rock show and then I flip you upside down. I change your world. Got to see that. Your world gets changed. Trust me. You've got a long career. What would you, if there was something you could change, what would it be? And you wouldn't change anything. There's nothing you would change because you learn from the positive and you learn from the negative. Mm -hmm. So to go back and change something would mean that something else would change and you would still wind up with a negative somewhere. So you just have to deal with it. See, I've been doing this 47 years, so you, you, can't, you can't go back and say, oh, I made a mistake or I did something wrong. You can learn, you know, because I've made huge mistakes. And so you learn from that. Okay. So the next time that that comes around, something like that comes around, you go, well, we're not gonna do it like we did then. It, it's like you, it, the, <clears throat> the best example is, um, you know, like if you ever have words with anybody and you walk away and you go, oh man, I should have said this. Well, you didn't know to say that then. Mm -hmm. But next time you run into that situation, you know to say that. Okay. Or I should have done this. That's, you know to do it. You learn. Well, I read somewhere where you, you felt like you weren't being taken seriously as a musician. Uh, I don't, I don't know where you read that. Um, well, I don't, I don't believe they, they, they do because I think they, they always found my name like weird, and I'm going, come on, um, uh, and they, you know, Steinman and I came from theater, so they don't like that. I mean, I'm, I'm an acting, I'm an actor, so I have an acting background. And that's where my roots are, and that's what I take to the stage with me. Uh, actor first or musician first? Oh, I'm an actor. I don't. I don't sing a song. I live a song. I don't. There's no singing. I live it. Um, I would say 98 percent of the singers in the world listen to themselves sing. I don't. Okay. I don't listen. Um, I'm in the. Mo I'm in the moment. I'm in the middle of that play. I'm in the middle of that scene, and every, every song 
is actually a different character, is a different person. And he moves different and he has different movements and he walks different and his hands are different. And, and uh, that comes from studying Brando because that's how Brando, before he would ever start on any line whatsoever, he would always get the characters what his movements were. Was he left-handed? Was he right-handed? Did he walk with a limp? Does he, does he lean to the left? Does he do, you know, whatever his physical attributes, that's where he went first. Okay, uh, just a couple more questions here. Um, what kind of music do you listen to these days? Are there any bands that you like, or what kind of music? The only do you band, like? the only, I only like three bands. I mean, I, I like everyone. I mean, there, I have a lot of friends, so I like their music. Uh, bon Jovi, I like. You know, um, Springsteen, I like. Um, Billy Joel, I like. Uh, you know, but there's, I have three favorite artists, and I, I. One of them I actually don't know. Um, I know Joe Walsh is the Eagles. Um, I wish I'd have wrote, written Hotel California. Um, and another one is Linda Ronstadt, who I do know and known for a long time. And the third one is Bob Seger, who I also know and have known for a long time. I've known, uh, actually known Linda Ronstadt longer than Seger um, in the early uh, uh, no, actually, it's the other way around. Seeger was uh, 68, and Ronstadt was about 69. Okay. Well, you look at... I, I know, I've, I've known Joe Walsh since 68, too, so there you go. You know all the legends. When you look back on your career, what is it that you're most proud of that was your most rewarding thing? I haven't got there yet. Haven't got there? No. Maybe it would be the Vegas gig. The, um, if you think that you have achieved something then you should pack it up and go home. Um, because the object is, of this is to learn something new every day. So I haven't, I haven't achieved what I'm supposed to achieve yet. Okay. And, and so I'm still driven. Yeah, you've had like certain brushes with death in your life, and you, yeah, I've read that. Now, you're obviously being kept here for something. Maybe it's this gig in Vegas. So. I, I don't know. I haven't won an Oscar yet, okay. so that role hasn't come. And in fact, when I won the Grammy, I was doing an interview with Bob Costas, and he said, what are you, uh, so you won a Grammy, are you happy? And I went, no, because I'm pissed off because I didn't win an Oscar before I won a Grammy. And he said, you're kidding. I said, no, I'm not kidding at all. Uh, last question. How do you feel about the Celebrity Apprentice? Was that a good experience for you? Um, yeah, again, I raised a lot of money for my charity for Lou, my friend Lou Adler, who I've known forever and, and, and has done me incredible. Is one of the big influences in, in my career um, with the Rocky Horror Show. And then he helped on Bad Out of Hell as well. Um, and so I've been... Uh, but I do a lot of charity work without people knowing about it. So Celebrity Apprentice, people knew about it. But I've raised about $2 million for Painted Turtle. But I just keep it quiet. Because, okay. uh, you know, I go down, I stay out of the, I go down on food lines and all the celebrities are there and they take their picture and they leave. And I go, when people are there taking pictures, I go hide. And then I go back. As I, it's not, I'm not the one that's important. We're well, important here in Vegas. We're looking forward to you uh, and your show, Rock Tales and Cocktails, right here at Planet Hollywood with Meatloaf. Sally Steele, we'll see you on VegasRocksTV.com. Thank yeah, you. Bye.